There are many types of investments. You got real estate, stocks, crypto. The currency that was invented as a joke, in fact, becomes the real currency. To the moon. To the moon. And really wild stuff like rare Pokemon cards that I wouldn't recommend for the average person. The moment we've all been waiting for. Oh my God, bro. Different things work for different people. For those that think society is gonna crumble tomorrow, most people are buying gold and silver. Or well, gasoline and bullets might be better, I don't know. But anyway, one type of investing that you may have thought of but don't know much about is bond investing. Although you may have heard the concept from books like The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham, Warren Buffett's teacher. For me, I know a lot about stocks. I've dabbled in short-term government bonds like T-bills, but I've never really ventured into investing in corporate bonds. That is, until now. You see, a company called Silo approached me asking me to do a review of their product. Now, they want to bring bond investing to the masses with an easy interface that the average user can understand. Now, this video is sponsored by Silo, but in the next seven minutes or so, we're gonna go through the app and bond investing, and you guys can decide what you think of it. So when the average millennial or Gen Zer hears the word bond, what do they think of? The name's Bond. James Bond. Well, perhaps. But bonds are one of two ways that you can invest in companies. You see, you can either buy stocks, which are also called equities, where you own a portion of the company and you hopefully get growth in the stock price, hopefully. And the company might even pay a dividend, which is a payout once a quarter or once every six months. Or you can buy bonds, which are also referred to as securities, where you are basically loaning money to those companies in exchange for interest payments. And interest rates are high right now because of the Fed. Another cool thing about bonds is that if a company goes bankrupt and liquidates its assets, you will get paid out from whatever is left first before the stockholders. So bonds are safer than stocks in two ways. One, they offer fixed income, and two, you get priority over stockholders if the company goes under. Now, Silo lets you invest in over 11,000 different bonds from over 2,000 companies. Let's actually have a look at how that works. So when you sign into the platform, you will see your portfolio. And if you want to invest in something, we hit this little magnifying glass to search for companies. There are a few major corporations listed here already. So let's choose Meta, Facebook's parent company. I dislike Facebook so much, I want Zuckerberg to be paying me for using it. And they wasted so much money on their self-indulgent metaverse push. We believe the metaverse will be the successor to the mobile internet. Hey Mark, down for a VR foiling sesh? Now this is more my style. That they probably need us to bail them out. All right, Zuck, I'll give you a loan. So when you look at a meta bond or any other bond on the platform, it is all displayed in a very easily understandable format. You have different maturity dates at the top because that is how bonds work. You buy them and when they mature, they pay you back the full value of the bond yet you may have bought them at a discount. For example, this one is selling at $997, but you'll get $1,000 back in May 2028. So you make money that way. Then in addition, there is also an interest payment, which is called the coupon, and the coupon rate is displayed here, 4.6%. That rate plus the discount works out as this top figure here, 4.674%. Now we also have a suitability score, which is based on questions you answered when you set up the app, like, how much risk tolerance you have, how liquid you need your holdings, etc. Then there is this slider where you can try out different amounts of money and see what level of income it would give you. I find it more accurate to hit the little plus and minus. This one and many other corporate bonds have a minimum purchase of two. So if I buy two for $1,994, I will make 26 cents a day, $7.66 a month, or $93.21 a year. We can increase the amount and with $10,000 worth or 10 bonds, I am earning $466 a year. And yes, just in case you're wondering, most corporate bonds sell in increments of a thousand, but there may be a minimum purchase amount, which is often two bonds. So that would be 2000. 
But at 4.674%, is that really that much better than a high yield savings account? Well, different bonds pay different rates. Let's say I want to search for an 8% rate. Well, there is actually a search tool on Silo where I could search for, for example, an 8% interest rate. Ooh, look, Icon Enterprises, that's Carl Icahn's company. Now you see the word junk here indicating it is a junk bond, which is higher risk than blue chip companies bonds like Facebook and Apple. Now junk might be a scary word, but it just means that this particular bond may be a bit higher risk than other large companies' bonds. And you'll actually see many big companies, unexpectedly, their bonds are rated as junk. Like, look, US Steel, that's a huge company. Their bonds are junk bonds. And really, it just comes down to the credit rating of the company. In this case, US Steel, it's BB minus. Anything under triple B is considered junk. Standard & Poor's calls double B somewhat speculative, and there are many way worse ratings below that, so look at the rating as well. So how likely is it that US Steel and Carl Icahn won't pay us back? Well, the default rating on junk bonds is between 4 and 5% this year. Last year, it was lower around 3%. It went up because the Fed raised rates, so companies had to pay more in interest to borrow money, so debt became harder for them to afford. But the Fed is expected to lower rates this year, so you can expect those default rates to come down too. So investing in junk bonds is something people do for higher income potential, but it carries more risks. Just like investing in certain stocks that are more risky, but have a larger potential upside. But when you see much higher returns, like over 10%, for example, iHeartRadio at 15%, or Netflix at 16%, or Mohagen Tribal Gaming Authority who are paying over 200% to borrow money, be very careful, guys. Personally, 10% would be my limit. Now, if you want something safe and super stable, Silo also allows you to invest in US government treasuries through their convenient interface, which is way easier to use than the US government's Treasury Direct website. So I can get 5.1% on this one year treasury and look at that bond rating, double A plus. That is the credit rating of the US government. And these types of bonds can be described as risk free because in theory, the Fed can just print more money to pay back bond holders if they run out of money in the bank. So how does Silo work with pricing its services? Are there any fees for buying bonds on the platform? Well, Silo does not mark up the price of the bonds they sell. In fact, the average markup is $15 per bond. Neither do they use payment for order flow. The only fee you'll find is a $1 commission per bond, which is mostly passed on at cost. You can do the math and work out whether that makes sense for you. Deposits on the platform are managed by interactive brokers and they offer SIPC insurance of $500,000 and FDIC insurance of 2.5 million on uninvested cash. So Silo wants to bill itself as Robinhood for bonds, a safe and reliable platform with a user-friendly interface and a low and transparent fee structure. And they are doing a special deal for my viewers. The first 100 people to sign up for Silo through my link below and deposit $3,000 or more will get Silo for free for a whole year. So you'll be able to test it out at no cost. So check that out in the description section below and stop letting the evil corporations earn money off you when you can earn money off them instead with Silo. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.